And so it went. While the evil Whiplash was out hunting vampires, our hero was at home, hiding behind a cardboard Mountie cutout. After all, even to a real Mountie, vampires can seem awfully scary. <laughs> vampires indeed. Another week and I'll have those idiots thinking there's gold in them there, hill. <laughs> In the daylight hours, Snidely was hard at work arranging a meeting between a really big train and the local bank president. Is there a choo-choo train I hear coming our way? I can't do this to our customers. <laughs> You'll own everything. All right, all right, I'll sign. All the bank's mortgages are yours. And you tell her to be named later. <laughs> right. Pay up the mortgage now, or this quaint little fixer-upper is mine. You're not our banker. No, oh, I am now. Mm. Read it and weep. How oh, can you do this to us? How can I do this to you, madam? I was born to do it. It's in my genes. Now get out and take your munchkins with you. That's right, chop chop, single file. And wipe that smile off your face. And no talking. With his ill-gotten gaze, Snidely Whiplash was taking over all of semi-happy valley, and that included the local motel, the slaw dog stand, the funeral home, the very town itself. Naturally, local residents became a mite concern. What's going on out here? What, what's wrong? We've all just lost our homes and businesses. Yeah. Well, that's a relief. Huh? It is? Yes. I thought that this was about the vampires. No! This is about that bloodsucker, Snidely Whiplash. He's taken everything. Our homes, our businesses, our farms. Yeah! What do you mean vampires? You mean, you don't know? No. The woods are filled with them. What? <laughs> 